What's up, Miniatures Paintbrush Legion? This is Rob, your host. Welcome to Hobby Tips. All right, TMP fans. So I started a new project involving something that we throw away regularly. Foam. Ah, yes, foam. It's easily available. It's easy to cut and manipulate to suit our hobby needs. There's just one major setback, however. Painting this stuff in large quantities. I'm sure you can use an airbrush, but that could be a bit of a hassle, so the rattle can is where it's at. For the cost, little or nothing beats it. There's only one problem. The propellant chemicals in the rattle can melts foam. So the traditional way to combat this was some water, PVA glue, and some Mod Podge with a color splash to mark your coverage. And it's messy and takes a long time to dry. And sure, it was okay to use this method and it mostly works if you kept your rattle can far enough away when spraying mist light coats and checking for melting. But I thought to myself, self, there must be a better way. So I was at my manly place, you know, where I go to think of solutions to problems. The hardware store. No, not the throne room, although that seems like a good place too. Where I happened upon multi-surface latex primer and sealer. The one in my hands, I got it at Lowe's at $11 a quart and it worked like a dream. With flat gray paint, that is. Uh, so this is my hobby tip to you. Try multi-surface latex primer sealer for your next project. It might just make your hobby time a little bit easier. And now I leave you with almost the sexiest thing you possibly can find, even more sexy than the foam itself. Having a lovely lady paint your hobby projects.